The second group, in addition to the foreign-born, are Catholics, and of course these overlap because many Catholics were immigrants. They are more dangerous. In fact, the Catholics are the most dangerous. They are a foreign religion. The Klan dug up centuries of anti-Catholic propaganda. Their first loyalty was to the Church and the Vatican, not to America. They were sheep under the thumb of a foreign pope, a hierarchical clergy that was a contradiction of American democracy. Here's an image of this uh, reams full of anti-Catholic propaganda. Uh, the top half of the cartoon is about the progress in Europe in separating church and state with the Pope and the Catholic clergy looking on with great, great uh, dismay. And Liberty, the woman in the front, proudly rending apart the church and the state. And then in the bottom half in the United States, the Catholics are putting the church and the state back together. Some of you may be able to see the, the stereotype of the drunken Irish immigrant in the front happily applauding as Lady Liberty turns away and the Catholic Church and the American state become one. Because that's what many Protestants believed. That the Catholic Church was engaged in a great conspiracy to overthrow the American government, take over the American government. That parish, the churches, Catholic churches were stocked with ammunition in their basement for this coming struggle. People actually believed that. And then look at how they behave, these Catholics. Look at how they drink beer. Even on a Sunday they drink beer these German-American Catholics, these Irish-American Catholics, and then the ones from Southern and Eastern Europe, they're even worse. These many strands came together to make Catholics the Klan's number one enemy. Above all the other dangers and threats, it was the Catholics. Now that again is difficult to understand today. Some of you will remember the 1960 election and the anti-Catholic stuff that was slung at John F. Kennedy. It's very difficult for my younger students to understand all of that. It's almost impossible for them to understand that. But there was a deep, deep, long anti-Catholic tradition in American history from the very beginning. The Puritans knew all about it. A reality of 1920s Protestant America.